Hi guys! Welcome to episode three of ABC OC with Janelle and Kelsey. We are here today with Charlie with Adore Folklore. Uh, Adore started in 2013 in San Diego and is a specialty furniture and rental company for weddings and special events. And we are so excited to interview you today. So let's go ahead and start with the questions. All right, first question for you. How long has Adore Folklore been in business? And tell us about the journey so far. So Maggie and Taylor started Folklore in 2013 and they weren't sure what they wanted to do. They knew that they loved vintage pieces and furniture. Um, they were always like thrifters. Taylor came from a interior design background. Um, she studied at UCLA and so they were sort of just natural business owners and they were like, what can we do with our passions and what, with what we're good at and what we studied at school. And so they just started collecting things, not really knowing what they were going to do, if they were going to open a shop or if they were going to do rentals. And then that's when they sort of had the idea, like, I don't want to give any of this up. I want to keep it all. Like, let's not sell it. Let's yeah. rent it out. And, um, no one was really doing that in weddings at the time. Um, it was still very like back in the old school days and just sort of getting into like sourced and like found items, mm -hmm. vintage stuff. Yeah. So. so there's two owners. So it's Taylor and she has an interior design background and, and um, Maggie. And Maggie. What, and mm -hmm. what is her background in? Um, Maggie studied art at, at Santa Barbara and she's just always been um, extremely visual and creative and um, like thrifter, sorcerer, she's like the main buyer at Folklore. Okay, mm -hmm. got it. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Do you guys buy your stuff at flea markets still? Or like, where do you go for inspiration? Every once in a while, um, we'll go to um, flea markets and we'll try to come up to LA for that kind of stuff. But now, um, when they started, they didn't have a large budget to add stuff. And luckily mm -hmm. vintage was, you know, really cool and up and coming and fresh. And now we have more of a budget where we can buy like new modern stuff and we've really brought that into the style as well. So it's not just vintage, right. rustic, like they do everything now. It's every style. Um, so luckily we get like, we, we shop from everywhere. We have a lot of custom stuff that we build locally um, with makers. And then we go to like West Elm, Crate and Barrel, pretty much everywhere now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. I love that. That uh, that's like so different from a lot of other of the rental companies. You're order, exactly. you're offering something really original and like custom even. Yes, custom's a big one. Um, and they're both like they're both designers. They're both so creative. So um, that's a really big source and what we'd like to do when we have the time for it. Um, but you see a lot with a lot of other companies, they'll specialize in one look. You know, you'll have like your boho rental company, mm -hmm. your traditional pottery barn kind of style, yeah. you know, your basic party rental, maybe like a mid-century modern. But yeah. what Folklore really does differently is try to encompass every single look, but the best of every single look. Yeah, yeah. I've noticed that. Yeah, I know. I think we like adore a lot because it's a little bit of vintage, a little bit of boho, modern, and yeah, you don't get that with a lot of companies. Right. We want to be versatile. So I love that. So if you could describe your perfect bride, like who would be the perfect adore folklore bride to come to you? Great question. So I don't think she has a specific style, um, but she really cares about design and the overall look. Mm -hmm. um, so whether she is you know, a funkier bride that doesn't care about a lot of like glitz and glamour, but just wants like warmth, but cares about the flow. Um, she's pretty much just somebody who's like design focused and, and cares about that element, yeah. um, regardless of what her style is. Yeah. Right. So I have to say, I use Adore Folklore a lot and you ladies put together some really amazing design boards for clients. So tell us about your design process. Um, it first starts with just a lot of listening to the bride. Um, we have a bunch of questions um, when it comes to that because we do do so many styles um, and incorporate so many different types of looks. Um, so it starts with just listening to the bride, what she wants. And from there, we just immediately get visual. Like we'll make a vision board that has all of our inventory on there, inspiration photos, um, what she's looking for for floral, floral how to... Yeah. And incorporate all of the stuff that she wants and then from there 
once you have that visual, she can kind of take a step back and see what she likes about it, what she would want to change potentially. Mm -hmm. um, and then we go from there and we do have a new warehouse space um, and we have two staging areas there so we can pretty much put everything together and play around with it. That's so helpful mm -hmm. for brides. It's the best. Yeah. There's a lot of companies that don't offer that and mm -hmm. they just don't have the space. Right. You know, and then it just helps the couples, I feel like, and the coordinators be able to really piece it together and see if there's something missing or if you can elaborate more and it's that opportunity so you don't miss on something mm -hmm. really important. Absolutely. Yeah, it's so nice to, it's one thing seeing it on paper, but seeing it actually physically there and kind of like switching out tables and switching out the physical pieces, I think that's really helpful for right. brides. And events come and go, they're so fast. Like the planning process is what's so much fun about it. So yeah, yeah we love having brides and coordinators in there playing around and. Love it, so fun. <laughs> so Charlie, what is your favorite piece in the whole collection? It changes all of the time. Um, our, one of the biggest questions that we get asked the most often is if we have a price list or a brochure. And I have to say no because we add to our inventory multiple times a week. Really? Constantly. Oh, wow. And we don't take a lot of stuff out, but we're always adding stuff. Um, a huge part of our inventory is our lounges. Mm -hmm. Um, and so we're always adding lounge furniture. The options are endless. I don't think we've ever done the same lounge twice because wow, we have yeah. so many pieces. Um, so we're always buying for that. But even our table and chair collections, um, we add every couple of months, like another 200, 300 really? chairs, wow. another like 20 or 30 tables. Um, wow. So that's a really that's difficult question for me <laughs> right now, but we're like, I'm on a pink and mauve kick yeah. so like anything velvet anything like kind of like that pops and mm -hmm. is girly that's what I'm really into right now so fun I love pink velvet right now it's having a moment yes <laughs> channel back <laughs> velvet right now stuff. for mm -hmm. wedding industry <laughs> yeah um it seems like you add inventory more often than other companies that's that's amazing yeah that's a huge part of our uh, business model and why we can provide for so many different types of brides. Um, we really don't wanna just focus on the trends or focus on like one encompassing look that's trendy right now. We wanna be able to provide for everyone. Yeah. Um, so here's a little shameless plug here for you. Why should planners and brides use your company for upcoming weddings? So on the planner side, um, Maggie and Taylor are natural designers and they like to bring events from start to finish with their vision boards that they create, mock-ups in our space, um, really anything you need, suggestions. Uh, we work with the furniture on a daily basis, mm -hmm. um, hands-on, so we know how everything works together and how everything looks together in person. So that's a service that's you know just what you get when you hire Folklore. And on the bride side, um, just our versatility, like um, we have so many options, so many looks, and we can really work with, with anyone. All right, Charlie. So we want to know a little bit more about you and your role with Folklore. When did you start? What got you into the company? So I started about two years ago, and I had a background in interior design, and I had worked for a rental company before. Um, so when I saw, I wasn't really looking for a new job, but I saw that Folklore was hiring and I just really wanted to be a part of the company. Um, everything about their business model and their look really spoke to me. And what I get to do with my job is sort of pair my like type A analytical, crazy, like organized side of my personality with my creative side, a visual side of my personality. Um, I rarely get to merge those two in this kind of a way. So folklore was perfect for me there. I love that. Yeah, the wedding industry is, is perfect for like type A creatives. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Besides being a cool name, where does folklore come from, the name, the name of the company? So folklore means, I have the definition but I don't think I can recite it. <laughs> um, but it's basically um, like folklore is like history stories um, and they liked 
when they first sourced all of their pieces by hand, um, the stories that that, those pieces told. Yeah. Uh, So bringing in lounge furniture and really styling tablescapes is a newer trend. I feel like before um, this company was started, that really wasn't a thing. Um, Where do you see trends going in the next few years? So I think that brides and grooms really care about just the overall experience of their weddings. Bringing in lounge furniture has allowed um, kind of a different experience than the traditional setting. Um, and that's created like movement. So what I see from a lot of our clients is asking for mixed type of seating, like lounges, traditional table and chairs, cocktail, Mm -hmm. something that gets guests up out of their seat if they want to and mingle around and move and not feel like they're stuck, um, doing other things, other sort of, um, yeah. Yeah. It brings, bringing in lounge brings like a more like homey feel, like more more cozy. 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 It's like a, more of a hangout rather than like a stuffy wedding. Yeah. So where do you see folklore in five years from now? So um, we have a lot of big plans. We're not going to stop adding to our inventory anytime soon. That's something that's always going to be happening um, with us. We have an amazing team right now. Um, a lot of really great departments um, within folklore, our delivery team and our design teams. Uh, marketing and social media Um, we have just such a strong group of people that are like family so being able to build those teams up and bring more people on is something that's definitely a big goal of ours how big is your team right now there's about 15 of us Mm -hmm. that's a good amount of people yeah Mm -hmm. and we're growing we just hired someone last week and we're having a little job fair tomorrow Bye. for our delivery team. Aww. So, mm-hmm. do you have interns? We don't. That's something that um, I've tried to get Maggie and Taylor to do, and we've yeah, that would be really fun. They're very helpful. Um, it, yeah. it takes a little bit of training, but um, if you get the right ones, it's it's nice. Yeah, and we have a good place for that. There's a lot of work that can be done, and a lot of hands-on training that you get to do as well. So if Taylor and Maggie didn't own a furniture company, what do you think they'd be doing? Uh, they're both like natural business owners, so they would definitely still have found a way to create businesses um, and most likely together because they balance each other really well. Yeah. Um, but something creative, something in design, um, but definitely something that was all their own that they started from the ground up. Yeah, I love that. Um, it's funny, when I met Taylor for the first time, I was like, so who owns this? And she's like, I'm the owner. Because you could tell she was so like passionate and excited and really like hospitable when I, when I got there, but then kind of understated, so I wasn't sure if she was the owner or not. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, yeah. She's really warm and warm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maggie likes to be behind the scenes a little bit more. Yeah. We like joke that Taylor's the... Steve Jobs and Maggie's a Steve Wozniak. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good balance. Well. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Charlie. So we love having you guys at our events for ABC. You guys do such an amazing job. You go above and beyond. We couldn't be any more happy with the services you provide. How is your relationship with ABC? Do you like working with ABC? Yeah, we love ABC. Um, every event we've been able to do has been so fun and fresh and creative. Um, it's like a An amazing collaboration. We get to do um, some of our best work. Um, We love seeing the photos afterwards too. They're always so beautiful. Yay, we love hearing (laughs) that. Thank you, we love you too. (laughs) As female business owners ourselves, we love meeting and working with other fellow women business owners. Um, It must be tough being moms and then juggling being, you know, business owners and and growing a business. Tell us a little bit about that. It's so inspiring. I, um, I love working for women business owners. They're amazing, like the most hardworking. I can't believe that they're also mothers on top of all of that. I feel like yeah. I'm busy and tired all the time. I can't imagine juggling all of that, but it's an amazing, like the work-life balance that I get from them and um, how collaborative and inspiring it is working for them. Um, they're both do for their third babies and just having oh yeah um being able to see them like bring their children in um when they can and incorporate that and make it more of like a family business atmosphere has been really inspiring 
Yeah, I think that's incredible. Three kids. Wow. Yeah. I say I want three kids, but I can't imagine it. I can't imagine three kids. I, I know I you said they want to do four, right? Oh so, all right. So they're almost at the... I know. And with both of them pregnant, like, because they had two each before. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, whoa, this is... All of a sudden, this at is so many time. children. Yeah. That's so funny. Like, they're pregnant at the same time. That's so mm -hmm. funny. I wonder if they planned it. <laughs> you know, sometimes women like, are in sync like that. Maybe like <laughs> they were pregnant for the first time together as well. Oh my gosh! Within like a couple of months. That's actually kind with of their crazy. first. Yeah. At least they have like a buddy to go through the whole process yeah. together. Yeah. That's oh, yeah. probably comforting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they have you to rely on too, and to help yeah. out with everything. Yeah. And I've like worked okay. with a baby on my lap before many, many times. Wow. Mm -hmm. Good practice for the future. Yeah. Are you married? I am. Mm -hmm. Is he being there? When did you get married? Um, it will be a year next week. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. So a newlywed. Yes. Where did you get married? Um, in North County in San Marcos and in old polo fields oh, with all cool. folklore rentals. Nice. Yeah. Nice. 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 <laughs> of course, I have to stop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Thank you. <laughs> Who was the florist again? Bloom Babes. Oh, yeah. They're, they're so cute. Yeah. They're super cute. Oh, San Diego has great vendors. I yeah. know. Especially yeah. North County. Mm -hmm. yeah. North County? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is that where you guys are located? Yeah. Is it like near Carlsbad? Mm -hmm. Bloom Babes is there. Amorology. Woody's there. A lot you wouldn't yeah. know about because it just sort of, of encompassed San Diego's. But I know there's a good little hub of creatives yeah. there. And now you have your amazing house, too, <sighs> which I also suck, <laughs> which is so cute, Aww, finished, and oh, I just love everything you've done with it. It's so cute, and I feel like it also complements folklore. Yeah, kind of bring I your definitely inspiration. steal inventory from time to time for my house, <laughs> like switch it out seasonally. Yeah, oh, I love it. I'm going to start it's calling fun. you. Nice Job perks, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Charlie, for coming in today. It was so great chatting with you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You look so cute today, by the way. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in to episode three of ABC OC TV with Danielle and Kelsey. We will see you in our next video. And as always, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. And please let us know what you want us to ask our next interviewee. We'll see you at the next meeting, which will be an all-planner meeting in June. See you soon. Bye.